Hearing those words at the beach usually means there's one thing nearby you don't want to meet. They're still out there. And just this past week, five people were possibly bitten by sharks across beaches in New York. All we know for a fact is that we've had what we refer to as a spate of attacks uh, in a very short period of time. You know, it, it's been really lucky that, you know, these interactions haven't resulted in, you know, more serious injuries. Ralph Collier and Scott Curatola Wagaman researched shark encounters. Now they're working to pinpoint the species of shark responsible for biting surfers and swimmers this holiday week. The two that were confirmed for the 4th of July uh, looks like bitten on right knee and on the hand. Both Scott and Ralph say these bites were small puncture wounds and non-life threatening. Most likely, they say the sharks mistook humans for fish, which is becoming more common with sharks coming closer to shore to hunt. You know, one of the reasons they think that you're seeing more interactions is because the water here is cleaner. Um, so you're getting more, not just sharks, but other species. Never in my life would have ever thought I would have had this kind of a close encounter. But the bites in New York aren't the only encounters. Just last weekend in Florida, paddleboarder Malia Tribble felt a shark tap her paddleboard. It circled her before swimming away. If that shark wanted to knock me on the water, it could have, and it didn't. And, and, and so I kind of look at that like it wasn't there to to harm me. It was really just trying to figure out what the heck I was. I'm in their territory. Because of moments like that, cities and counties are taking extra steps to keep people safe using technology. This is our new normal. George Gorman is with New York State Parks. His team is deploying drones over beaches to monitor shark activity. Before swimmers are in the water, we scan the waters. Frequently during the day, we're scanning the waters so that we can keep every swimmer as safe as we possibly can. And they just announced they're making a program to teach other cities how to do the same. I think we will be doing it for many years to keep the swimming public safe. But even if you're at a beach where drones are on patrol, here's what you can do to stay shark safe. First, swim in groups. The survival instinct in them is very strong and they are not going to challenge a group of objects that are unfamiliar to them. Next, avoid wearing jewelry or brightly colored bathing suits. Those can mimic fish scales. Also, don't swim near people fishing. And if you see a group of fish near you, move away. Also, avoid swimming at dusk and dawn when shadows are most present. It's easier for sharks to hide and easier for them to mistake you for prey. In the end, the experts say, don't let these encounters stop your summer fun. You're more likely to get injured walking into the water on the beach or driving to the beach than you are to be bitten in the water by a fish. I would go to the beach, have a good time. I do.